Okay, um, so we've dealt with the um, various sections. Um, as the case officer is, uh, as the case officer logs on to the case, that you'll see various information uh, filled in by the case officer, and the default status of the case is received until the case officer uh, logs on and signs themselves to the case. Uh, you will then see the case status change to pending and under assessment, and various other statuses will follow uh, depending on where the case is at. Um, under the uh, top you'll see view and edit um, you can uh, click on edit and go back into the case at any time uh, and eventually the case will be closed once it's been processed and then will disappear from view um, so if there's any other documentation or the mapping was incomplete you can get back in there and correct it um, let's for instance go and change something on the map hold down your shift key and drag a box over the area you'd like to zoom in onto. Um, let's go in there and to edit the polygon simply click on it and drag the different vertices. Okay and you can go back to save. Remember I'm, I'd like you to insert a revision log so we would say uh, edit the map layer which has changed after discussion the heritage okay so let's hit save okay great um, the that is it really for a case so you can uh, go back at any time you can see how many times the case has been read um, so uh, more controversial cases perhaps would have many reads um, and uh, these can be sorted uh, in the views by the, the view counts um, and uh, your decisions once they've been made uh, will appear in a block on the right okay and any permits made for the case will also appear uh, on the right by the case officer.